So he has to get his leg down and he has to swing through with his hip. That's why we call it the hip activation. Hey guys, the next one, I like to call it the hip activation drill. We believe in open stance, okay? What often happens is when players were used to close stance, uh, they're not comfortable with open stance, which means they haven't learned to really use the hip and activate the hip through the ball. So this drill is amazing because what you're gonna do, Luki, you're gonna stand there for me. Open stance already, and you're gonna turn. And I'm gonna, you're not allowed to move, right? I'm gonna drop these balls. There's nothing on this ball, which means what do you have to do? You have to create your own pace. And the only way you're gonna do that, especially if you're not allowed to go forward, the only way you're gonna do that is if you throw your hip, okay? It's really gonna be so good with the open stance. Okay, let's go. Yes, I want you to notice his hips. Yes. So he has to get his leg down and he has to swing through with his hip. That's why we call it the hip activation drill. And again, go. Yes, and again. Beautiful. Okay, I'm actually, that's so good. I'm actually gonna show you guys step two on this drill. Okay, so now Luki, as you know, I like it when the body weight goes through the ball. So you, you, got, you got the hip going. Now I'm gonna give you more time. There's still nothing on the ball, but finish forward with your right leg and then recover a little bit. And through, yes, and back. And load, through, yes, and back. Load, through, yes, your hip is activating nicely. Your biomechanics are firing. Yes, so you're going from your legs into your hip, into your racket. Very good, let's go again, go. Through the ball, yes. Load, hip through. Good, clean sound there, and again. Good look. Okay, not used to open stance, fantastic draw to get the activation of the hip.